Blessed day, my people saying so today's video we have three things to talk about. One of them is about Miss Donna, who is now Dr. Marie Go. Yes, my people. Miss Donna recently accepted her, we call it honorary doctorate. So you don't know what I've talked about them thing here, them good news here where Miss Donna make the people them know. So I'm gonna read an article where I gotta explain this. You don't know more a lot of persons big up Miss Donna cause far she come from. I want to leave some congratulations for her. Cause you know what to make people feel good when they achieve good things in life, right? So so as I say my people, we're gonna talk about it and you can tell me anything about all of this in the comment section. But separately from that, we're gonna talk about the cop who is now accused of getting Leoda Bradshaw pregnant. And of course, you know, Leoda Bradshaw is Philip Palwell's baby mother, Zine. You know that she's the one who them say orchestrated the taking out of his 10-month-old baby. Um, what's your name? Saraya Palwell and his baby mother. Tashanya or Tashina Pattison. You understand my people? So them say a policeman breeder, but it seemed like the policeman have been removed from that location where she's been housed and them actually put him at the next location. So some people believe say you know it's really true because from them I moved the police officer, something just not sound right. So I talk about it. And also I talk about Ivani, my people. Of course, you know, recently Ivani was arrested and you know she's still in custody. Um, we as an immigration supposed to come talk to her, not sure if she's going to be deported and things. So we're well, going to just discuss that a little bit and you can tell more in the thinking in the comment section, is it? But before we go going to further into the topics, my people, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Also head over to my Instagram page, Mix Up Time 4, but I definitely appreciate that. So the first thing we're going to talk about is the story in relation to Miss Donna. Well, I guess we can call her Dr. Donna Mary Go now. Is it, my people? Yeah, man, the doctor sounds very interesting. <laughs> Anyway, um, let me get to the article, all right? So the article is saying, Auntie Donna is now Dr. Donna Marie Go. Sunday morning, Auntie Donna took to social media to update her followers about her latest accomplishment via pictures and a statement. The statement started with the following words. It is now official. Our own Auntie Donna is now Dr. Donna Marie Go. It continues. We watch as she accepted her honorary doctorate, beaming with joy as she walked across the stage. She delivered an incredible speech after Afterwards, I am sure there are others like myself who have never heard about the Dora Favor Theological Seminary. Nevertheless, one thing is sure, the Spirit of the Lord is in that place. It wasn't just a graduation ceremony, it felt like being in the house of the Lord. From the sermon to the speeches, everything was excellent. We witnessed a remarkable moment when Miss Claudette of What's for Lunch Today, Lasco Mackerel and Rice fame, received her doctorate with an impressive list of accomplishments to her name. Another Another standout moment was when a lady on crutches proudly received her graduation certificate, proving that disability should never hinder one's dream. The statement from Auntie Donna concluded, Dr. Donna Marie Go, continue to do the wonderful work that you are doing. Now is not the time to give those naysayers notice because they are filled with jealousy and will not stop. So yeah, my people, that is definitely a good thing. Big up to Miss Donna. You don't know me, just want to say congratulations. And also, I want to say a lot of persons are congratulate her in the comment section, you understand? So, yeah. Anyway, my people, let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section. So the next thing we're going to talk about is Leoda Bradshaw. And as I said, there are some rumors that are circulate what they say. Um, a policeman breed her while she's in laptop. You understand what I'm saying? My people are locked up. Um, they move the policeman, so I'm gonna actually get into this story, and I'm gonna get a little, you know, a little bit more understanding as to what's going on, and you can tell me if you believe the rumors, or if you feel like say, you know, them thing I just make up story. But anyway, this is what the article is saying. Cop accused of getting J. Leoda Bradshaw pregnant removed, despite an allegation that Leoda Bradshaw, the accused in the taking out of 10-month-old baby girl and the child's mother, has been impregnated by a police officer while in custody. Police Commissioner Dr. Kevin Blake says investigations have so far revealed that this is not true. He was responding to a question during his first official quarterly press briefing as head of the Jamaica Constabulary Force. The newly appointed police commissioner also disclosed that the policeman at the center of the probe has been removed from the St. Catherine Station. Bradshaw, who is charged as the person behind the taking out of Member of Parliament Philip Palwell's daughter Saraya Palwell and her mother, 27-year-old Tashina Patterson, has been in police custody since October last year. We heard the allegation and immediately commissioned an investigation around it, Blake said on Tuesday. We also removed the accused officer from the station, but our investigation up to this point has not 
not shown any truth to the allegation. He said, the commissioner added, so far, the allegation seemed to be false. Bradshaw, a U.S. Navy petty officer who described herself as Paulwell's wife, also shares a child with the politician. Little Saraya and her mother were taken from their Gilmore Drive, St. Andrew home by individuals on September 9th last year, then taken to Stony Hill, also in St. Andrew, before being driven to East Kingston, where they were carned up and taken out on their bodies, B-U-R-N-T. Bradshaw is the alleged mastermind behind the murder for hire plot. The contract was reportedly for $500,000, and Bradshaw allegedly made a down payment of 100000 Jamaican dollars. So yes, my people, you know, them say a policeman breeder. No, I'm not sure if, you know, that rumor here is just a rumor, because... You know, why would they move the police if it's not true? Yes, the woman said, why? Think about it. Why are you going to move him if it's not true? Let's say I me them spread the room upon and me work at the station and thing. You can't move me if nothing goes so. Yes, the woman say, you make sure you do a pregnancy test or whatever it may be. And if it come back negative, then obviously nothing not goes so. Zin, but maybe that still not says she and a policeman can't involve that other thing now. Yes, the woman said, but maybe the pregnancy part would be fake. I don't really know my people, and obviously it would not have been Philip Paulwell, baby, because the time frame when she get arrested and all of that, if it was for him, I barely would have already a show behind bars. You understand what I'm saying? And that would have been one of them situations. I don't know it would have worked out with she being pregnant behind bars and thing. I don't know how they would have deal with that. And Yes, the woman said, my people, I never really seen a story out here where a woman, they're behind bars and she are breed and all them things, they see. But I don't know. Let me know if you believe the rumors them my people are. You just feel like, say, you know, people just make up them story there. You can tell me in the comment section. All right, so I'll talk about Ivani a little bit. See, my people, so by now, most of you know that Ivani was recently arrested and thing. And Ivani, baby, she don't know which part her baby there, right? Her baby is like under six months old and thing. Now, Ivani and her baby father go at it. Baby father, me, I say, I try take the baby, I try get full custody of it. But um, Ivani said that can't happen and things in. But regardless, she don't know who of her baby right now because, you know, which part she did right now, you know, look like she's going to get bail anytime soon. You know, man, some people. Very sad to Ivani go far and go to all them kind of foolishness here. She did Jamaica. She do a bag of foolishness. She come to America, she do a bag of foolishness. But the difference is, you can't come to America and make certain talks and think it's going to slide. America don't play when it comes to certain things, especially how she's not a citizen, right? So, you know if you do certain things over there, they must send her right. But I'm not a matter of fact, they must arrest you, Zane, they must charge you, they go to prison, and then they must send her right back at Jamaica. Now, you have a baby where you never know which part of the baby there. <laughs> yes, what man say. Um, the father try to get custody, you know, and that, you know, and the father fee fee have the baby for good, you see me? But if them send her back to Jamaica, they're not sending her with the baby, they might go whole lamp on the baby. You understand me? Some people, so I just can't figure out why should I really go there for the foolishness. She try, if she should run from Jamaica, obviously, if try to make a better life for herself and all of that, end up having her baby and things. So, why the foolishness? You know, it's just, I just, me just can't understand it, you see it. So, only can tell me when I think about the Ivan situation here. You know, the only thing I hope is that whenever she come out, she sort out herself and she just continue upon the right path. That's all I say. She need to do that because at the end of the day, you have your baby to think about. Yes, it. Anyway, my people, thanks for watching the video. You know. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Respect to everybody who watch the video and everybody who support the channel. I really appreciate it. I'm out.